consider appallingly cruel. Is there no violence in hawking or boxing? It's in our nature. We have become predominant in this planet because of our violent competitive nature. So I see nothing wrong for violence as part of a spectator sport. Most of them are. Now retired from the ring, Santos Sr. spends his days training his son. In the lush tropics of central Mexico, Rancho La Yarila is an ideal training ground for an aspiring bullfighter. In these fields, what counts for man and bull is stamina. Only courage carries a higher value. Only the hardest charging animals are selected to fight. Thank you. Young Gaston has to learn their behavior. Gaston won't face the bull alone. Matadors fight on foot and on their own, but an equestrian bullfighter can rely on a four-footed partner. Purebred Lusitano horses make first-class fighters. Naturally fearful, horses must get years of training before they can dance in the path of a charging bull. The smallest mistake can mean the difference between life and death. In the southern state of Yucatan, a bullfight draws thousands. But this is more than just death for the sake of spectacle. It is a celebration of valor and artistry in the face of danger. It's a family event. Young and old come to watch their heroes. Some will cheer for their favorite bullfighter, others for the bulls. Every time a bullfighter enters the ring, he knows it could be his last. Since 1900, nearly 100 men have died fighting bulls. The bull is strong. The spears get shorter and shorter. With each pass, Gaston must reach over those deadly horns and jab the point precisely between the shoulder blades. Until now, the spears have only caused flesh wounds, enraging the bull. The drama's climax is the death spear. A bullfighter has no greater duty than a clean kill. He has two chances to do so from horseback. The blow should be quick and exact, straight through to the heart. Gaston needs to dispatch his animal in a set time. If he fails, attendants will take it away and slaughter it, a death without dignity, and a great shame to the bullfighter. The clock ticks on, and still the bull stands, bloodied but unrelenting. Gaston is running out of time. He's had his tries from horseback. Now, he must try to end this on foot. Gaston drives the blade home, a mortal wound to a bull that fought the good fight but could not win the battle. Death with honor is still bittersweet. Another Enter friend or foe. Oh, Jay. Come in, old boy. Yes, Fred's gone. Gone off for that bullfighter. Frankly, don't think she should have done it. Very bad, actually. Oh, Jay, care for a drink? No. Hmm? I can ring down and get you something. No, no, thanks. I was just going upstairs to lie down. You know, I... I told her she was making a mistake. Asking for trouble. <laughs> you know what she did? She said something rather funny. She said, oh, I've given up such a lot. I've had such a happy life with the British aristocracy. <laughs> Pretty funny, don't you think? Brad. Dear, dear Brad. Uh, Jake, just out of curiosity, are you drunk? No. <laughs> See, well, I am. Well, let's go.
Ano ni Bart? Thank you.